it's been a really great experience for me to be able to work with artists and kind of see their process in working and it kind of helps me kind of re-examine how I work as an artist. So it's kind of cool being on both sides of it as being an artist and a curator because it sort of gives you perspective. My name is Ryan Holiday. I'm the new media curator at Artisphere. Um, I'm also one half of a music sort of tech duo called Blue Brain along with my brother. I'm Cynthia Connolly. I'm the visual arts curator here at Artisphere. I'm also an artist, a photographer, and letterpress printer. We go beyond just the traditional walls of a gallery where you're exhibiting artwork. We have a space that's that's designated for artists to work out their work, you know, to actually do what they do in front of people. Um, and then we also have spaces where, you know, we have an artist in residence studio where somebody can actually um, use it as a studio. We have a an exhibition space that's that's solely for Arlington artists. Um, so I think a lot of what we do is try to try to um, play with the genre a little bit, or play with the idea of what an exhibition space can be. There could be something happening in here, in the terrace gallery, but then also something happening in the ballroom that's like some kind of dance event or something, you know, completely different, and that there's this crossover where people, you know, people will be exposed to things they didn't expect to be exposed to, and really, you know, sort of that moment of surprise that um, about art that I think is really important. The first show that we had here that Cynthia curated was a skateboarding show called Skateboarding Side Effects. And this whole room was filled with, well, one of the, one of the centerpieces was a giant sculpture of this guy who makes uh, skateboard ramps, but like almost like Dr. Seuss, at like basically un, unskatable skateboard ramps. But Cynthia got all these skaters to come in and actually try to skate it. Um, which was amazing to watch them do this in the gallery. And it was literally before we'd opened, this was before anything here had happened. And I remember like having this thought of like, this is what's gonna go on here. Like, this is crazy. Like, um, this space is, yeah, is it was great. It, yeah, it was <laughs> gonna have fun It here. was really relieving when it happened because it was, the, all of the art was in here too. It was all installed and his, so it was Richard, his name is Richard Vossler, who does sculptural work, and he's a skater, and I asked him if he would make a sculpture that was skatable. So it, and he had to design it to fit it in the freight elevator. So all those components, which it was huge when he brought it all in here, but it was all these pieces that had to fit in the freight elevator, and then he bolted it all together in here, and it became the skatable object that I really wanted skaters to skate, but I, was, but I also wanted to push the limits by having them skate with all this art in here, so you just saw this like, you know, it was something that would normally never happen. One of the really, one of the great things that I think about Artisphere is that we're, uh, it's a place where, where we seek out artists of the highest caliber and we have artists that are some obviously huge names like Andy Warhol who's going to be here next month. But what's really special about this place is that we're able to exhibit them alongside emerging artists and local artists. Um, like for instance, Andy Warhol that's going to be in here in the fall uh, is followed by an artist who I guess we haven't announced yet, but who isn't as well known, but we're really excited about sort of inter introducing her on the same stage that we just had Andy Warhol. Um, that's something that I think has really been at the, at the heart of, of Artisphere's sort of vision, is, um, is, is trying to like blur those lines between who, the, the luminaries that we think are untouchable and the people who are experimenting and doing things in their garage or just trying things out and giving them a space for both of those things to exist, I guess. We've been around for almost three years now, which is still really young. So I think we're, we're I think we're still kind of defining our voice as a, yeah. as a institution, as a place. Yeah. And we're trying different things on and it's a massive space with, with a lot that we're trying to do and a lot of different areas that we're taking on. Um, so we're kind of still working out exactly what we want to be in all these different facets of, of artisphere, you know.